What are people talking about on social media today? In Nigeria, at least 32 people are dead after a bomb exploded in the northeastern town of Yola. Hello, I'm Matthew Bunk, and this is the 406. And now, here are the top statewide headlines at this hour. Authorities cleared both Air France flights bound for Paris from the U.S. that had to be diverted Tuesday night due to anonymous threats received after they had taken off. Air France Flight 65 from Los Angeles International Airport to Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris was diverted to Salt Lake City International Airport, Air France said in a statement. At about the same time, a second flight, Air France 55, took off from Dulles International Airport outside Washington and was diverted to Halifax on Canada's east coast. Passengers got off both planes safely and were taken to terminals. The University of Montana will cut 201 full-time equivalents, 52 faculty posts, and 149 other positions to meet its budget challenge in the 2016 and 2017 fiscal year, President Royce Engstrom announced Tuesday. Engstrom said, quote, These steps won't be easy to implement. I get that. Nobody likes downsizing. But we must do so to keep the institution strong and moving forward. A fatal neurological disease that affects elk, deer, and moose has been discovered closer to Yellowstone National Park than ever before. The Jackson Hole News and Guide reports that the Wyoming Game and Fish Department says a buck white-tailed deer killed on November 1 in a hunting area about 25 miles east of Yellowstone has tested positive for chronic wasting disease. An elk hunter reported shooting and killing a grizzly bear northwest of Gardner over the weekend. Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks bear management specialist Kevin Frey said the man was hunting in the Tom Minor Basin when he came up on a bear at very close range. He said the bear attacked him and he shot it. The Gallatin County Sheriff's Office filed a report about the shooting on Monday morning. Strong winds caused property damage in early morning power outages across Montana Wednesday, including about 2,000 customers in Yellowstone County. Dan Borsom, National Weather Service meteorologist, said the worst of the gusts were over in Billings by mid-morning as the strongest winds shifted to higher altitudes. Speeds will continue to decrease throughout the day. That's it for the 406. Subscribe to our 406 video YouTube channel and tell us your thoughts about the show in a comment. Have a great evening.